Today I'm going to demonstrate how I created a proximity detector system inside of Unreal Engine 5. In this system, the player's distance to another actor is measured. Once the distance between the two passes a particular threshold, my meta sound will be triggered, repeatedly playing a pulse slash beep sound. As the distance between the two decreases, the pulse interval will get quicker. As the distance between the two increases, the pulse interval will get slower. I also have this system controlled by a keyboard event, allowing this ability to be toggled on or off. I will now demonstrate what this looks like. In order to generate my proximity detector sound, I am using a sine wave patched into an AD envelope, followed by a bandpass filter. The extremely short attack and decay times give the sound its pulse-like characteristic. In order to constantly re-trigger this sound, I have the on-play node patched into a trigger repeat. I then have the trigger repeat patched into the AD envelope. I have two further input parameters, one called stop and the other called pulse interval. The stop parameter is what stops the sound from being played. This will be controlled from my blueprint, which I will discuss soon. The pulse interval parameter is what gives the effect of close or far proximity. The smaller the value, the quicker the pulse, and vice versa. The distance between the player and the actor will be controlling this parameter in my blueprint. I have used this blueprint design to implement the system. Using the get distance to node, I have scaled the distance values to be between 0.1 and 1. This value is then compared with 1, my distance threshold. Once this threshold is passed, i.e. less than 1, my meta sound is activated using the add audio component node. This moves into a loop in which my parameter pulse interval gets updated, followed by a print string to the screen before repeating the process over again. The way that the metasound stops playing is through the compare float node. If the distance between the actors is equal to 1, my distance threshold, then my trigger parameter stop is executed. It then resets my do once node. The do once node is important, as this way the metasound won't be constantly re-triggered every frame by the event tick node. The compare float node is executed using the event tick. The event tick is patched into the enter section of the gate node. The gate node is set to closed by default, meaning the compare float node won't be executed. By using the keyboard event R, i.e. pressing R on the keyboard, the gate opens, allowing the event tick to trigger the compare float, which triggers my sound and logic I mentioned a moment ago. When the R key is released, a sequence of events occur. Firstly, it closes the gate node. Secondly, it executes my stop trigger parameter. 